गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन देर इज़ ए न्यू थियोरम फॉर यू दैट इज शुआज थियोरम विच स्टेट्स दैट सपोज एफ जेड इज एनालिटिक फॉर मॉड जेड स्ट्रिक्टी लेस एन आर विद एफ ऑफ जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो दैट मीन्स द वैल्यू ऑफ द फंक्शन एट द पॉइंट जीरो इज जीरो इफ मॉड ऑफ एफ जेड इज लेस देन इक्वल टू एम इन मॉड जेड लेस देन आर देन मॉड ऑफ एफ जेड इज लेस देन इक्वल टू R over capital R into M, where your mod Z is equal to small R, which is less than this capital one, with equality only for f of Z is equal to M over R e the power i to alpha into Z, where your alpha is real. So we have to prove this result, and also with equality we have to prove this result. Okay, so let's start with the proof. Now it is given that f z is analytic for mod z less than r. So f of z is analytic for mod z strictly less than r. It is also given that f of zero is equal to zero with f of 0 is 0 now if f of 0 is equal to 0 it is given can i find a polynomial function f z to be equal to a not plus a1 z plus a2 z square plus so on now if you look at this function i have to skip this a not from here why because the value for f at 0 should be equal to 0 but here f of 0 comes out to be a not but we need the value to be equal to 0 therefore i have to skip this first constant term a not from this polynomial function so f of z take your f of z to be equal to A one z plus a two z square up to so on, okay. So consider f z is equal to a one z plus a two z square so on. Taking z common, you will get a one plus a two z so on, and Let's denote this a one plus a two z up to so on to be g of z. As f z is your analytic for mod z less than r, so g z is also analytic for mod z less than r. Where g z is equal to a one plus a two z up to so on. which is also analytic for mod of z less than r so we are having a relation that is f of z is equal to z g of z so we get f of z is equal to z g of z okay now what is your g at 0 what is your g z let's again write sorry Your g z is equal to take this as your one. Mark this as one. We will use this in further theorem. So what is your g z? This is a one plus a two z plus a three z square. So on. Now the value of g at zero is equal to. You put z zero over here. You get a one. 
this a1 is nothing but derivative of f at 0 why c your f of z is equal to a1 plus a2z sorry a1z plus a2z square up to so on now what is f dash z the derivative of fz is this is a1 plus 2a2z up to so on this is a1z now the derivative of f at 0 is equal to a1 okay that's why I have written a1 to be also equal to f dash 0 So now I am applying the maximum modulus theorem on gz. See, this is your small circle with radius small r and then is the radius for the capital R and now making another circle with radius r dash. Having this r dash to be strictly greater than r and we can also reach, we can also make reach this r to be very very close to this r dash okay so r and r dash are very very close to each other now applying the maximum modulus theorem on gz by maximum and modulus theorem on gz we get maximum value of mod of gz at mod z is equal to small r this value is strictly less than equal to maximum value of gz for mod z equal to r dash why I have taken r dash over here because for r this mod z is given to be strictly less than r for r mod z is strictly less than r so I cannot use here less than r I have to use the mod z the value for mod z equal to something like here mod z is equal to r is given in your theorem C this mod z is equal to r is given in the theorem and mod z is strictly less than r given so that's why i have mentioned a new radius r dash for which mod z is equal to r dash now the value for mod of z, mod of gz is less than equal to the maximum value of mod of gz at mod z is equal to r dash you can uh, have this uh, verification from the diagram now this thing happens for small r less than r which is further less than r dash take this as your second mark this as 2 now what does this imply this is maximum value mod z is equal to r can i write gz instead of gz can i write fz over z using this one yes so this is nothing but mod of f of z over z which is from one this is less than equal to maximum mod of z is equal to r dash mod of f of z over z right again for r strictly less than r less than r dash which implies now what we are doing maximum of mod z is equal to r mod of f of z instead of z can i write can i use 
mod of z is equal to r now this is mod of fz over mod of z so mod of fz over r now it comes sorry so this is mod of fz over r which is less than equal to maximum mod of z is equal to r dash here this is mod of fz over instead of mod of z i will write r dash okay now this is further less than equal to now in the theorem it is also given that mod of fz is less than equal to m see mod of fz is less than equal to m if this is given then we have to prove this so i am using this that mod of fz is strictly less than m so this is m over r dash so what i get which implies maximum value of mod of z sorry maximum value for mod of z is equal to r mod of fz over r is less than equal to m over r dash okay now since r dash can come very very close to this r the radius r dash can be arbitrarily very very close to this radius r so i can use instead of r dash as r now since r dash can come arbitrary this is our choice okay to make r dash as very 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 close to r so this maximum value mod z is equal to r mod of fz over r is less than equal to m over instead of r dash i use r now sath mein ye less than equal to inequality bhi aap isse notice karenge now taking this r on the top of this side on the numerator maximum mod of z is equal to r mod of f z i am taking this r to the numerator on that side i will be getting r over r this thing we need to prove this thing the only we need to prove for mod z is less than r okay now the second part we have to prove this result now see first one is proved now this this one is need to be proved this will prove with the equality with the hold of equality so let's prove the second one now now this uh, if you uh, look at your this second equation which which is the equation which is marked as second the inequation which is marked as second what is this maximum value for mod of z is equal to r mod of gz is less than equal to maximum value of mod of gz at mod z is equal to r dash now when this equality holds this equality holds if and only if this gz is constant jaise hi aapka gz yahan par constant hoga आपकी ये जो इनइक्वालिटी है वो इक्वालिटी में चेंज हो जाएगी दिस इनइक्वालिटी विल चेंजेस टू द इक्वालिटी साइन इफ एंड ओनली इफ दिस जी जेड इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो आई एम यूजिंग दिस नाउ नाउ दिस लेस देन इक्वल टू लेस देन इक्वल टू लेस देन इक्वल टू that is going on less than equal to now this will change to the equal to sign okay now since 
equality holds in to if and only if gz is constant okay so now my result is maximum value mod z is equal to r f of z mod this is less than equal to r m by r now this less than equal to will change to now equal to with you have to write if and only if this should be mentioned in each step okay because the equality holds if and only if gz is constant so now you write instead of implies you write if and only if maximum of mod z is equal to r mod of fz less than equal to r m by r okay for mod z less than r again write if and only if maximum at mod z is equal to r mod of f of z is equal to instead of r i use mod z now because this mod z is equal to r so mod of z m over r okay if and only if maximum now uh, now this is not needed because i have used already now this is mod of fz take this mod z in the denominator this is equal to m over r again if and only if this f of z over z now i am removing this modulus i am removing this modulus see fz over mod z full mod is equal to m by r if and only if when you remove this mod then you have to write a constant with m by r that is e the power iota alpha i am using this constant where your alpha is real okay for some real <laughs> this for some real alpha and now can i take the z in the numerator to get the result i am using from here only wait i am take sorry this z goes to this numerator hence the result the theorem is now proved this only you need to prove um in my uh, if you check the description box i have mentioned my new course on real analysis part 1 you will check in your uh, description box if anyone want to buy that course you can have a look over the description box and thank you for watching this video and thanks for subscribing my channel thank you